Hi everybody, it's Bea from Bea Group Mixed Media and more. Welcome to my channel. Lately I was playing again in my art journal. I started sketching a bird and decided to turn on the camera. So here I'm going over the pencil sketch with the darker intense water soluble graphite. I knew I wanted to play again with watercolors. So I grabbed my watercolor palette in which I have a lot of Daniel Smith watercolors and the sets from Jane Davenport. I'm still waiting for my bigger palette where I can have all my colors from Daniel Smith together. But first I mixed some modeling paste with tattered angel shimmer sprays and then applied it through a stencil. As usual you can find the complete supply list down below in the description of the video. I had to speed up the videos four times and did edit out non-necessary parts.
For the background, I have pulled out some printed tissue paper, which has been in my stash quite a while. To stick it down onto the page, I did use Liquitex Matte Medium. And by the way, I'm working in a dilution art journal, which I have chessed previously. I wanted to refine the outline with the black marker, but it didn't really work so well for me. So I changed later to the Stabilo All Black Pencil. The modeling paste has sipped a little bit underneath the stencil, probably because it has become a little too thin with the shimmer spray I have mixed in. So I wanted to refine the pattern again, first with the Stabilo All and then with some Distress Ink. I 
And as I didn't want it to waste any paint, I did clean my stencil on the page, which gave me some more visual texture on the page. Next, I have used Prismacolor pencils for adding patterns and shading. As you can see, I'm following more or less the patterns that the watercolors have already made. I wanted the girly bird a little bit more in the foreground, so I needed to tone down the background with some white. I tried first with the white gelato, but I changed to gesso instead. And as I didn't like the border, I tried to hide that a bit too. Next time I probably wouldn't do a border, but that's what art journals are for too. You can try out things. The girly bird still needed some pop, so I started to intensify colors with Jane Davenport's water brushes. And when they were too intense, I diluted them with a water brush filled just with water.
For the reflection in the eyes, I used a Molotow marker in white. I'm gonna also use it for some dots later. If you liked the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share. Till next time!